The electric power industry needs to measure extremely small resistances in the range of milli or micro ohms. For instance, this needs to be done when measuring contact resistance in circuit breakers or disconnectors, or when measuring the resistance of joints, such as those used in bus bars or very low winding resistance. Measuring resistances as small as these requires what is called a four-wire measurement. A resistance cannot be measured directly. In order to determine the value of such a small resistance, a DC current is forced through it by a current source. That current causes a voltage drop over the resistance. With the four-wire measurement method, the voltage drop is measured with a different set of cables. The resistance value is the voltage drop divided by the current flowing through the resistance. Since this value is several orders of magnitude lower than the resistance of the voltmeter, its influence on the measurement can be ignored. State-of-the-art micro-ohm meters are comprised of a current source, a voltmeter, and a resistance display. Some even have several current sources for performing multiple measurements in parallel. Others provide currents of up to 400 amps DC. In order to make a four-wire measurement more convenient, four-wire cables with Kelvin clamps can be used. The two brackets of a Kelvin clamp are insulated from one another. One is used for the current, and the other one is used for the voltage path. Kelvin clamps work well for massive connectors that keep the current and voltage paths separate. Circuit breaker tulip connection contacts make it literally impossible to make a proper connection to the breaker contact. This is because the individual brackets are interconnected, which makes a connection with an independent current and voltage path impossible. Such a tulip contact is usually removed before performing the measurement. If there is only a single thread for making a connection, a four-wire measurement can be difficult. In such a case, a Kelvin screw can be used. The Kelvin screw provides a separate current and voltage connection point. It can be screwed directly into the thread itself. The four-wire measurement principle is simple. It's just important that you make sure to establish a proper connection with independent voltage and current paths. Following the rules shown in this video should make the four-wire measurement a straightforward procedure.